Hi, I'm Dr. Jim Grant, Chief Medical Officer at Blue Cross Blue Shield of Michigan. When I graduated from medical school, a pandemic like COVID-19 was only something we learned about in textbooks. So many of our conversations have been filled with information and questions about the COVID-19 vaccines. We want to be transparent and continue to relay information to you as it develops in this constantly changing world we are living in. You have heard a lot about the vaccines and many of us are feeling hopeful that this could bring an end to the pandemic. But understandably, some of you may not be feeling as comfortable. Some of you are feeling a bit apprehensive about something so new. How was it developed so quickly? Is it safe? There are a few things you should know about this topic. The FDA puts every vaccine or drug through rigorous testing and only releases those that it deems safe. State officials say that while scientists worldwide are working to develop effective COVID-19 vaccines faster than any vaccine before, they are still following proven processes. A factor that has helped in quick development is that scientists had already begun research for coronavirus vaccines during previous outbreaks caused by severe acute respiratory syndrome, or SARS, for example. That earlier research provided a head start for rapid development of vaccines to protect against infection with COVID-19. Let me assure you, no shortcuts were taken in the process. Let's use the example of having people over to your house. If 10 people come over for dinner and nine are vaccinated or already immune, then the 10th person is not exposed to the virus by virtue of their contacts being immunized. In other words, that person is getting their protection from everyone else's immunity. You need as many people as possible immunized to create community protection. This will give us the best chance at returning to our normal activities as a society. The government expects that vaccines will be available to the general public by this summer. Distribution is already happening in a very phased approach, which is varying by state. Since the vaccine's release, we're seeing about 60% of Americans now say they'll get the vaccine. That number correlates strongly from the information we are getting from our own members. Public health officials are working to get accurate information to the general public about the vaccines. The number of vaccines and the number of people vaccinated needs to increase to achieve a meaningful level of immunity in the population, where we could start thinking about returning to more of what we knew as normal before this pandemic. The pandemic is not over just because we have authorized vaccines. It will take time. In the meantime, we must continue masking. We must continue washing our hands. We must continue social distancing well after we get a vaccine. Like I've said before, there is light at the end of the tunnel, but we are still deep in the tunnel though. Remember, we're all in this together and together we will beat it.